Welcome everybody to the seasonal diet, eating what our ancestors ate, when they ate it, like we were evolved to do. In this video, just going over my thought process and uh, opinions about how much grains we should actually have in our diet and, you know, what time of year, if any, should grains be eaten. So, this here is just what I do based off my historical education and, and, and thoughts like that. But none of this has been studied scientifically. Um, but when I plan my diets according to the diet of our ancestors, I like to take it in increments of 10,000 years. It's an easy number to work with, and 10,000 years is a good number to think about in evolutionary terms. You know, 10,000 years you know a species it definitely evolves but it's generally the same species you know if you look at humans from 10,000 years ago they're us basically they look a little different but they're they're basically us go back to humans 20,000 years ago and we start to see something different so like i said 10,000 years is a, a great um a staple mark but that's just my theory and then what i do i take 10,000 years and I look how long have we had that food in our diet in that time and then we can calculate how much we should eat that food today. Uh, we're speaking about grains here. Grains have been produced and eaten by humans for 10,000 years, yeah. We have archaeological evidence that it was cultivated in the Middle East, Egypt, even Turkey and Greece around that time or shortly after. My Norse ass in the north of Europe, uh, not so much. <laughs> of course, um, some of our ancestors may have lived in the Middle East if we go far back enough in time, back to the Ice Age or, or a little bit after. But as far as I know, there's no evidence of any of it in my DNA or family. So pure Germanic ancestry for me. Now, Germanic peoples, we have some archaeological evidence that grains were cultivated in their areas for about four 5,000 years even, but not widespread use. Even 2,000 years ago, we have numerous Roman sources that say the Germanic peoples did not farm grain that much, uh, and even when they did, it was not to make bread like the Romans did, but it was to make alcohol instead. So uh, that was the time of the Germanic tribes 2,000 years ago. Still, grain's not eaten that much, but by the Viking Age, about a thousand years ago, we do see plenty of evidence and, and mentions of various grains being eaten on the wide scale. So do the math. That's one to two thousand years of grains in my ancestral diet. I can divide that by 10,000 years. What do we get? Uh, 10 to 20 percent. And I interpret that to mean that I should be eating 10 to 20 percent of, of grains of what someone, for example, from the Middle East might have eaten in their ancestry at a place where grains have actually been eaten for the whole 10,000 years. So the way I incorporate this into my diet is in one of two ways. Um, First, if I have some, you know, Middle Eastern or Mediterranean neighbors nearby or something, I just look at the amount of grains that they're eating, and I eat about 20% of what they do. They love their breads and pastas. Um, I don't so much, so I eat about 20% of what uh, they would eat, and that works out well. Second option, I only eat grains for about 20% of the year. And that makes it a little over two months total. And we are getting into that exact time here. The late winter, early spring, where our ancestors in the north of Europe had the most grains in their diet. Uh, I really don't like grains, but I do eat uh, quite a bit of them at this time of year and not much otherwise. Sure, I'll have some oatmeal or a cake or a cheeseburger here and there the rest of the year, but I really do make a conscious effort to stay away from grains the rest of the year and start to eat more of it now, right around February, March, April time.